Alrighty, hey guys, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. I've been trying to make the T-Rex, the Tyrannus Rex kind of thing. I've got one epic fantasy so far. Um, you can get epic fantasies from secret portals in, I think it's, Re it's only Riku's site, so it's in Prankster's Paradise. You can get it via Monstro's Bally, Bowels, or Cat... Uh, Cavity, I believe it's called, and you can get it in the the country of the Musketeers, in the green room, in the theater, and in the backstage area. And it's always a chance that you'll get it. It's not a hundred percent. Took me a few runs, but I finally got it. But the one I'm stuck with is Intrepid Fantasy. I've only got two of them. I need one more. And I've been actually trying to grind the Tyrannus Rexes because there's a um. I've actually had to drop quite a bit. I've dropped like 20, 28 times now in total. I had 10 of those were recent because I've been trying to find a day where um, this, this screen right here, I've been waiting for the day where um, the Tyrannus is the, um, is the enemy. And you can see right here it's the enemy. Turns out, though, that was the wrong Tyrannus, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. Either way, in the, um, in the training, uh, there's a secret portal, and it spawns two Tyrannus Rex. And I've been trying to farm off those to get Intrepid Fantasies, because supposedly they dropped them, and I haven't had any luck. But turns out you can actually get some in a chests in this area. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start the Symphony of Sorcery, which I think is the Fantasia movie. And once I get an Intrepid Fantasy, I'm going to go off grinding for a while, or probably for like until level 40, oh, we're almost at level 40, probably until level 45 or 50 if I feel like it. Um, and I'm also going to be leveling up my Tyrannus Rex to get heaps of ability points, because it turns out Tyrannus Rex can give you a lot of good skills. So that's going to be one of the three uh, spirits that I really want for my endgame stuff. So, let's do this. Time to dive. Nine hundred prize points. You got it. Okay. Can't hit these. I can hit that. Oh god, I almost had that. I did it! That's cool. Oh, you have to go through it diagonally. That's so cool. 24 seconds left. And I got A. Nice. Fleeting Fantasy. Am I? No, I got Fleeting Frigman, I think, a lot. A rare material used to bring spirits to life, energy spells about inside faster than the eye can see. I mean, sure. Oh my god! It's Sorcery, Sorcerer Mickey! This is so cool. Oh, here he is. Really, Sora? Really? Whoa, what the hell? Oh, you didn't see this. Am I back at Master Yen Sid's tower? 
Something seems off. King Mickey! Huh? Is this what's troubling him? What the fuck? All right. Gosh, is that a keyblade? Who are you an apprentice to? I'm Mickey, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Actually, The Sorcerer's Apprentice is another good movie. <laughs> At least I enjoyed it. Apprentice? Wait, am I in some world where the king was still in training? So, does that mean this world is sleeping? What's wrong? What? Oh, uh, I'm Sora, the, uh, apprentice of, um... Hey, listen, your magic... I gotta stop that. Yeah. Mickey, what can I do to save you? Thank you, Sora. But it's no use. A monster's possessed that music. And he's releasing darkness that stops anybody from going in there to fight him. To dispel the darkness, we need a sound idea. It's that dream eater I let escape. Okay, where do I get a sound idea? What? You'll find one for me? I gotta play Beethoven's Fifth. Of course! Thank you. It's not every day I get to do a favor for the king. Huh? Did you say something? <laughs> oh, nothing. Long story. So what exactly is a sound idea? Hmm. Inside this musical score should be a power that can sweep away any darkness. But you gotta be careful. In between those clefts and notes are monsters. Not as strong as the big one, but still pretty strong. Got it. My hands are gonna be so tired after this. Symphony of Sorcery. Reality Shift Melody Catcher. Press the buttons on the glowing line and hold the buttons on the green line to conduct along with the rhythm. In some area, um, areas, Melody Catcher will change the environment and open new routes. Oh, okay. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Flashback. You dirtied my floors, Mickey. Pay with your life. Oh, e okay, I think I get what the story of this movie is already. He steals the hat, doesn't he, and stuff happen. And then Yen Sid has to save his ass. Yep. <laughs> Stupid Mickey. Oh boy. Poor, poor Mickey. Let's see what's through him. Dream candy. Looks, um... Wow, there's hardly any ambience. Block of chocolate. Like, seriously, there's a fight going on, yet there's hardly any music going on. What the hell? I'm not sure what to think about this. This is so weird. I'm so used to there always being music. Like when fighting at least. Ok. 
Okay, there we are. I guess it was just for the fight? Um, let go of me, please. Seriously? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's interesting. Finish. Grim Fantasy. And I got a rampant figment from that. Have I gotten the intrepid thing yet? I don't think I have. Yeah, I have an intrepid fantasy. Shit. I don't want to go too far into this world is the problem. I kind of have to. Enter the musical realm? Sure. Damn it, sorry, you broke my book. Now you can't go in it. I'm gonna be trapped forever! It was just a key beam, gosh. Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is where I was before, I think. Oh god, I'm walking on the clouds, what the fuck? Oh god. Okay, we're in trouble. Yep. Oh boy. I'm not level- well, I am sorta of leveled for this, I'm just- I'm screwing up. I think there's a level 35 place? Could be wrong about that. some of the weirdest music. I get it's meant to be an, like, it's meant to be a musical. I think that's what this movie was. Most Disney movies are a musical, but this one was specifically surrounded by music, I believe, a lot. Thus the, um, the dancing at the start of this game where Mickey is dancing with books and that's why we're going into musical sheets and stuff. It's just, it's weird for the soundtrack to also match that. It just feels weird for a Kingdom Hearts game. Usually it's always, um, I don't know the word, but the music's usually different. Oh, it is the side game, I suppose.
you. Kill them all. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> this reality shift is going to get really annoying. You can already see it. What's this for, this area? Tank glide. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, fuck yes. Fucking glide, I've missed you. Missed you, baby. Okay, is it circle? Yes, it is. I don't go as fast. That's fine. As long as it doesn't force me to drop at any random point. But at the same time, flow motion... I don't know. This game is so weird to me. There we go, Intrepid Fantasy. I'm gonna go cry now because I'm not doing this world until I'm late, until I'm until I'm ready. Alrighty, I'm now level 50 on both Riku and Sora. I got an achievement for it because I got a, a cumulative, which is altogether level of 100, so that's cool. Now, um, am I missing anything? My T Rex is like level 50. Yeah, level 50. Um. I got Mega Flare and Media Crash. They're pretty good skills. Media Crash is Riku only. Mega Flare is just as good as it was in the early games. Um, uh, in at least, did I have Mega Flare in Kingdom Hearts 2? I don't remember Kingdom Hearts 2 that well. Surprisingly. Wow. Okay. So I made a little annoying, annoying thing a little while ago when I was lost in this world. How there's no proper music in the background. Like, there's some music now, it's more of an orchestra thing. But there is no combat music, I can't even hear myself hitting the enemy. I can hear myself jumping, but I can't hear myself hitting the enemy, what the fuck? But, um, I don't really remember Kingdom Hearts 2 that well, as to, well, I mean, I remember a lot, like, everything about it. But I don't remember how I grinded in the game. Did I end up using... Uh, cheating methods where I just used Mega Flare and shit, or did I just go around killing everything normally? I don't remember that well. <clears throat> um, but God damn, I'm being hit. whoa, shit! These guys, these guys. But our Media Crash is like um, it's a Riku only move. He basically jumps into the air, and for two seconds he's in there. And then there's a one fuck. I hate those things. Um, and then he Um hits the ground and meteors crash down with him. It's a pretty good AoE move, but it only affects the area slightly around Riku, but not behind him, and mostly in front of him. I'll show you guys when I actually become Riku later. Um uh, Prism Room Mill, what? Also, I got a move called Storm Mill, or Storm Stop, or Time Stop, or something. Um, it basically is like Fire Windmill, but instead of doing fire damage, it has a chance of stopping the enemy. <clears throat> I'm going to take off Mega Flare, because I'm not going to use that anymore. Because, I mean, I might. Honestly, I might, just for enemies. So I'm going to keep that on. Um, Prism. Spin the Keyblade like a Windmill as you rush the enemy, landing multiple hits. So, it's basically the, the, 
the basic version of Fire Windmill? Okay, I guess. Okay, let's try this. Oh, did the first try. Nice. I don't really like Guitar Hero stuff because of that reason, but at least Guitar Hero has you like, gives you a th couple of seconds to go like, oh, I need to press this button, even if it does get chaotic sometimes. At least it gives you like a muscle memory kind of thing. Where am I going? Oh, it seems like there's a doorway over here. Oh, there was a white cloud here before, and now it's gone. Okay. Whoa! What the hell? Holy shit storms, Batman. Ah! Oh my god, that scared me. I can fly. Whee! I'm being, uh... Being brought up. Being brought up! Okay, I stopped. I was gonna get a little worried there. Boom! Mega flat, bitches. Also, I have the pets I have on are specifically my dino, and then two for like magic haste and magic brew stuff. Also, I have the power to get magic, um, magic leapin' or whatever it is. Oh, tornado! I've heard that's a really good skill in the other games, and I never ended up using it. Like, every time, like, after I played Reach of Memories, and then I played Birth by Sleep, I went back and watched people play those games. Um,. And they kept on using a move called Tornado. I'm like, I never ran into this move. What the fuck is this move? And supposedly it's really good. I need to start using it. Like it sucks up enemies and lasts a while. It was actually re it was actually really useful against the um, lingering Vanitas fight. It turns out. Okay, so there's that. I wonder if that will stop the storm because I can't touch the ground floor. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, um... I was concentrating on the end of the line and not the circle, because... I was a little confused, I'm like, why is it telling me to press these... ...if it's not even up to them yet? Okay, let me do this again. There we go. Whew. So can I go down now? Yay! What are these? Oh. <laughs> Battle portal take damage no more than two times. I'm good. Use tornado. Yay! Suck him up! Suck him up! Not as powerful as Mega Flare, I reckon. Might be good for stunning enemies. Like bosses if it does that. Ah! 
I hit the fucking storm cloud. Oh god, I was gonna go touch that again. I'm scared. I don't really want to explore this area. Whoa! T-Rex! No! Fucking hell. Top 10 anime betrayals, am I right? <sighs> Top 10 betrayals no one saw coming. Oops, save win. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like, oh, there's a stormy area. Looks up, sees the edge of the storm clouds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, this place looks... No. Ah! What the fuck? I'm being hit by thunderclouds now? Are you kidding me? Is it like if I stand around for too long? Yes, it is, I think. Doesn't seem to hit me otherwise. Damn it. Alrighty. Yes, open up. Phew. This place is so cool. Like, honestly, it does make me want to watch the movie Fantasia. No joke, I'm probably not going to, but it makes me want to. Oh, you're kidding me. Ah, my God. So there isn't an exit to this place. So I wonder what we have to do.
Oh good. I'm stunned. Okay, that one seems important. I'm gonna leave that. Triple plasma? What the fuck is that? Launch three bolts of electricity towards enemies. What? Oh my god. I missed the path. Epic fantasy. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. We're gonna be that type of game, aren't we? Oh, Josh, you... You wanted all these pieces to make a dinosaur, and yet if you just continued the world, you would be able to make it easily. Fuck you, game. Wait a minute. What? These animals respawned. They respawn after a certain amount of time if you're away. It's not just like a different area, it's like if you go too far away. That's interesting. Maybe that's how they'll do it in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, wrong area. Easily you sink into the depths of slumber. Oh boy. Hey, young Xano. Why are you here? <laughs> Beautiful world, isn't it? Almost like a dream. Why are you following me around? You really haven't caught on? Or are you just assuming it's all part of your little test? I'm not part of the dream. And if you thought I was, then you're softer than they say. What? But this will all be over soon. Just who are you people? Sleep on and we will meet again. Hey! What does that mean? Interesting, I did think he was part of the dream actually. Well, no, I didn't think he was part of the dream. I thought he was able to talk to Sora because he's connected to Sora. It's like, um, it's like, um, I think Vanitas is somehow connected to Xehanort, and Vanitas is now part of Ventus, and Ventus is part of Sora. So technically Xehanort's part of Sora. And so I thought because of that, that's how Xehanort's able to talk to Sora because they're connected. Oh, everything goes into Sora for some reason. He must feel really bloated inside, honestly. Thank you, Sora. I can tell you found us a sound idea. Well, I guess we should try and put it to work. Mm. We'll have to do a reality ship thing. Oh, no. That's cool. Strange. Is one sound idea not enough? 
Don't worry. I've got a friend out there who will help. He's always picking up the slack for me. Oh, is that Riku said? Wow, the sounds are all joining together to make even more powerful music. Yeah, two forces are better than one, right, Riku? Okay. Can I get in there to fight that thing now? Yes, but Sora... I'll be fine. See you in a gym. Obtain double impact. I think we read up about that before. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be a little dangerous. Um, <clears throat> also... <clears throat> sorry. Um, also, I just realized... I should have realized this ages ago. But this game's really based off the world ends with you, more than just the characters. In the world that ends with you, when you verse the creatures known as Noise, the monsters in the game, you and your partner go to two separate worlds, because the Noise exists in two different realms, sort of, um, and you have to kill the Noise in both those areas to actually kill it for good. And in this game, they do that. The only time they've never done that is Tron, because, um... Well, and technically, uh, the court of the Mask, country of the Musketeers. Um, but in the, the in Traverse Town, we had to kill a hooker, hooker monkey twice, as one as Riku, one as Sora. It was like killing it in two different areas. We did the same thing for the bird off a of war goyle in Le City of the Clocks. Um, we did the same thing in Prankster's Paradise for that. Um, I forgot what the creature was. It was like chill something. Um, chill crab or whatever. And we did the same thing. It seems like we're going to be doing the same thing in this world. But we might not. Who knows? So we've got something called Double Impact. I think it goes... I can do Sliding Side Wonder. Oh, is that automatic? Yeah, it's automatically put on. Okay. Double impact. Press square during a sonic impact to perform a second charging attack that sends enemies flying. And slide with square and then press X. So if I'm right... Oh my god, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna save. Hmm. Oh no, the kid's got his key beam! I expect after this we're going to do another Traverse Town thing because we've killed the creature. Or maybe the creature will flee back to Traverse Town. There he is. Please don't make this into a rhythm game. Please, I beg of you. You square to slide and catch up with the Spelican. Got it. Come on, man. Boom! Nope. Okay. Well, this should be a little easy. Boom! 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 Boom!
Balloon Ra! Also, it seems I'm running low on drop. I didn't realize. Whoops. Lucky it doesn't seem to be going down that fast. I really wish I knew what it meant, like, I can judge what it means by one, by the, like comparing it to how fast it goes down with other ones. But I just don't have to know what it means, like, is the bar a certain amount of numbers, and so it's only going down by one every second or something? Ah, it. Here we go. It's time for the bonus gauge, guys. It's time for him to die. Finally bet him. I'm presently dropping right now, oh, no. so... The water! Oh, I'm in big trouble if I don't fetch it! See ya real soon, Sora! Yeah, you know it. Don't do it, Sora! Oh, good. I thought he was gonna put the hat on. That was a short little world, I like that. Counterpoint, a key with long reach that provides an extra boost to magic and makes it easier to trigger reality shifts. Unlocked Flick Rush Final Cup. Ooh, now I know I got the final one, cool. Um, I might end up doing some Flick Rush after I finish Riku's side, because I want to get, there's a couple of things with the medals I want to get, so, yeah. 